Since launching its first running shoe in 2010, On has become a global brand worth billions of dollars. To stand out and grow market share in a space dominated by market leaders Nike and Adidas, On invests heavily into R&D. And to meet demand for more sustainable products, ON launched a recyclable running shoe which is replaced every six months as part of its Cyclone subscription service. Every part of the shoe is made from the same material group, allowing it to be easily broken down and recycled. We work with lots of different partners, um, foam makers, different material manufacturers, and one of the manufacturers, one of the, the biochemists that we work with, they make a product which is essentially made from a castor bean. Now that castor bean is grown in a very ethical way and it also turns out that the castor bean can be turned into something else after it's been made into a, into a shoe. So through some, some different types of processes, we figured out that we could make the entire shoe, not just the upper, not just the outsole, but the entire shoe from, from that one material. So we call it a mono material, which we can turn back into a new shoe. So when we first had the innovation of Cyclone, one of the main questions was how do we get the product back? So the subscription method was one way of ensuring the product would come back, but also challenging consumer behavior to maybe think more about the product as something which has a certain life and should come back to the brand that creates it. Subscription services are commonplace for streaming content and purchasing consumables, but for a service offering running shoes, it's early days. The numbers are still fairly humble, but I think that's also given the fact that we've had to limit production of the product. Because this material is so new, it's so different, it's not on tap. And I think gradually over time, we'll be able to increase the, the subscription numbers. On first expanded into apparel in 2016, and like the shoes, all garments and accessories go through a rigorous development process. Jai Hui Yin is head of development and supply chain. We're now in the big dream room of the ON Labs. This is actually the center of ON's innovation and development teams. Um, so we're here in a, in a very creative space where normally we come together, look at line reviews, look at all our future products, and, and, and that's also why you see some products here. So talk me through the product development process. So product development starts from ideas. Ideas can come from all directions, be it innovation, athlete input, or a design idea. But what's really special about ON is we do monstering prototyping first, and then we go into the official product creation process, which include basically strategy setting, design fine tuning, uh, product creation, material sourcing and finalization, uh, then eventually commercialization uh, and, and production. Obviously throughout the process, there's a lot of product testing involved and a lot of um, lab tests and validation involved. So the USP of the business is engineering. So talk us through how materials in particular reflect that. Yes, I mean, really the, the DNA of the company is in innovation and engineering. So everything we sell has a performance element in it and materials as well. So whenever we source new materials, whenever we decide whether a new material can get on our product or not, there are equally important three elements, which is uh, aesthetics, performance, as well as sustainability impact. So basically we care as much about the planet and then the, the, the basic carbon footprint of a material as we care about the performance and the aesthetic look. Material is also very important for footwear. Uh, this is an interesting explosion exhibition of our footwear upper. So, so this, is a, this, is a, this is a shoe. I mean, you don't think about it that way normally. This is the bottom unit. This is the upper. And there are so many elements uh, of just one, one single shoe. And but when we look at the different materials of the, of the upper, for example, we have a very, very ambitious target to reach 85% recycled polyester for the entire upper by 2025. And we're tracking towards that very, very well. So basically, every time we put a new material on a product, we test the performance, we look at the actual composition, but we also talk about the sustainability content of it, which is very important to us. Fashion and sportswear brands collaborating is a trend in its own right. Stella McCartney and Adidas, Victoria Beckham and Reebok, and Gucci and North Face all demonstrate the combined power of brands. In 2022, ON unveiled a collaboration with high fashion brand Loewe, which is owned by LVMH. We were always interested in working with other brands, but we also wanted to make sure it wasn't about fast fashion. We didn't want to just make an endless conveyor belt of products, and obviously many brands came to us, 
many brands started to see us and, and wanted to work with us. But one that really stood out for us was with Loewe. Jonathan Anderson, the head of design at Loewe, was a fan of On, which showed that there was a great uh, connection between the two brands. And then when our innovation teams, when our design teams started to work together, that was when we found that, hey, there was a, a great potential for, for product. The collaboration actually works on both sides of the brand. So for us, it helps us to reach a more fashion conscious consumer. It also helps for Loewe because they have a consumer who equally loves to move and to run. And so we've really found a benefit from bringing those two brands together. Since the launch of the collaboration, ON has seen promising growth in the Asia Pacific region. Loewe is a, is a hugely successful company. They're, they're having a very big moment through all of their fantastic design. Particularly in China, in Asia, we've had an amazing response from, from fans there. Um, Loewe is very focused on China and their consumer there is, is aware of that brand, probably more so than on. So it's helped us to, to piggyback and to, to bring a different consumer into the brand. As well as breaking new territories, ON has expanded its portfolio from running into tennis via another collaboration with globally renowned Swiss tennis icon Roger Federer. It was actually him wearing our product, you know, and posting on Instagram. And people of sports marketing then reached out to him and, you know, we call it the care package, send him some more shoes and apparel pieces just and said, hey, thank you so much, Roger. I mean, we are super proud seeing you in our Swiss products and Swiss engineered products. And he wrote back uh, in a brief note and said, hey, uh, I would love to meet, you know, can we have a dinner, you know, three founders, uh, me, maybe my agent here in Zurich. And that was the kickstart of really a nice, not only partnership, but it's also a deep friendship. He came on board as a partner, as a co-investor in the brand. Um, and that really changed the relationship um, from a very traditional sports marketing um, athlete signing into someone who was really integral into the brand. Now look, you could call Roger one of the, the early influencers of the world. Uh, he has a, an amazing fan base around the world. And through his network, through his reach, through what he stands for as a player and as, as an athlete, uh, that's really helped us to, to spread the word about the brand. When Roger first met with our innovation team and he understood all the processes that we go through to create a running shoe, he was convinced that we could turn that into something that could work for a different sport. So we started from the very early days on, on creating a product specifically for Roger, for his needs. And he really collaborated with the innovation team to help us to develop that product with the mindset of what a tennis player would need. In the 1970s, Adidas signed tennis player Stan Smith as part of an endorsement deal before renaming the now iconic shoe after him. Decades on, the Stan Smith trainer has become an everyday streetwear staple. On released the first shoe from its Roger collection in July 2020, and it's hoped that these two will be worn beyond the tennis court. The development of the Roger was really how do you take a performance silhouette and make it more for the all day, for the athleisure audience. Um, we feel we found something that's very comfortable. It has a hidden cloud tech inside the shoe. And Roger really paid a lot of attention to the comfort of the products overall. He actually comes in and spends a lot of time with the team working on the product, innovating. He has a lot of input into the product. And we really see that as we can grow that franchise into a wider reach, then we can bring CloudTech, we can bring the Roger silhouette to many more fans. Being seen on the feet of champion athletes is important to ON in further building its brand visibility and reputation. From the very beginning, athlete exposure, athlete credentials behind our product has been extremely important. Olivier, one of our founders, was a pro athlete. And so we've always been very keen on making sure our products perform at the very highest element. Now that involves signing lots of athletes. We have uh, lots of training grounds around the world. If you come to our on labs, you're, you're more than often not finding an athlete, trying a product, giving some feedback, improving the product. Even now we won our very first uh, marathon in Boston with Helena Beery, one of our athletes, and now looking forward to the Olympics. When an athlete wins, you'll, you'll find many messages going around, many text messages, so everyone will tune in and watch it at that moment. And of course, that just adds to the credentials of us as an innovation-led brand. There's the, the proof in what we've created, and seeing that on the biggest stage against the biggest athletes of the planet is, of course, one of the best uh, convincers that we could possibly have.